This segment of the video will cover on dummy variables. Before discussing dummy variables, we need to know non-metric variables. Now, what are non-metric variables? They are nominal variables that describe characteristics using two or more categories. For example, if you talk about variable gender, it has two categories, yeah, and it describes male and female. And for variable favorite dessert, yeah, it has three categories. In this case here, it describes your uh, favorite dessert. Number one would be cake, number two will be ice cream, and number three will be chocolate. And a very common yeah, non-metric variable that we always use in our survey is ethnicity, where number one represents Malay, number two represents Chinese, number three represents Indian, and number four for others. Now, these variables okay, are the variables okay, or non-metric variables that we would transform them into dummy variables. Why do we need dummy variables? Yeah, If, let's say, if you want to incorporate yeah, these uh, non-metric variables in your regression, you have to convert this variable into dummy variables. Why? Because regression is all about continuous variables. Now, let's say if I talk about variable gender here, yeah, and it doesn't make any sense if I say gender increase. Yeah, because gender is male and female, yeah, there would not be anything as if gender increases. And let's look into variable favorite dessert. Yeah, you can't have direction here. You can't say a favorite dessert increase or favorite dessert decrease. Yeah, because dessert consists of cake, ice cream, and chocolate. Yeah, you in fact can't find uh, a mean between them and it will not make any sense. And same thing goes to ethnicity. We don't say ethnicity increase or decrease. Yeah, so let's say, okay, in creating the dummy variable, Okay, uh, we need to adhere to this k minus 1, where k here refers to your categories. For example, in the variable gender here, we have two categories. Yeah, we have male and female. So how many dummy variables we will create out of this variable gender? It will be 1, which is two categories, 2 minus 1. Therefore, for the variable gender, we'll have one dummy variable. Yeah, so you can see, let's say, if you're talking about income, we want to see the effect on income due to changes in gender. So we have y equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1. Now this x1 here is gender, but it represents a specific gender. So what we have to do, we have to convert this variable gender into dummy variable. Yeah, we'll be coding. Yeah, we call this dichotomous variable where male will be equal to 1 and female will equal to 0. So this is how yeah, you'll be labeling all your data where female will be referred as the reference category. Yeah, so what do you mean by reference category here? Okay, so if let's say X here okay, represents your male. So once you run your regression, let's say the value here, if you look into this diagram here, if male, okay, gender is one, you get a positive value. Okay, so we can indicate that the income of male okay, is higher than female. Yeah, that's why we have called the female here as the reference category. And let's say if you run this regression, and the beta here, the value here is negative. Then we say that the income of male is lower than of female. Yeah. So the reference category here is always the comparison that we make. So for variables more than three categories, let's say we are looking into the variable favorite dessert. It has three categories here. So how many dummy variables variables we'll be creating? It will be three minus one. Yeah, so we'll be creating two dummy variables. So y equals to beta 0, which is the slope. Let's say we are running regression, yeah, plus beta 1, x1, which is dummy variable 1, plus beta 2, x2, dummy variable 2. So your dummy variable 1 is the dummy variable for cake, where ice cream and chocolate is 0, 0. And your dummy variable 2 is for ice cream, where you can see cake is zero and chocolate is zero and in this case here chocolate is our reference category yeah so let's say if i'm running a regression to see yeah i've collected data from individuals yeah who are uh, diabetic patients and i want to see yeah whether their preference for a certain dessert will have any impact on the level of their sugar yeah 
So let's say for x1, yeah, let's say for first variable. So what am I trying to see here? Yeah, if the value of the beta is positive, I'm trying to say that those people who consume cake, yeah, have higher, okay, sugar reading as compared to those who prefer chocolate. And let's say if for x1, the value is going to be negative, then I can say that those people who are consuming or preference, okay, those who have preference for cake will have lower sugar readings as compared to those who prefer chocolate. So there will be another diagram for x2. Yeah, so that's why I have two variables here now. Yeah, so that's how we usually do our dummy coding and that's how we are going to interpret the results later on. Yeah. So in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how we are going to create our dummy variables using SPSS. To record a dummy variable in your SPSS, you'll go to transform and you'll go to record into different variable. Yeah. So let's say now in our example, we want to use ethnicity. Yeah. Uh, we had four categories in our ethnicity and we want to create ethnicity into dummy variable. So if there's going to be four categories, it means we are going to have four minus one, we'll have three dummy variables, yeah? So for the first dummy variable, I will label this as ethd1. This is our first dummy variable. And this dummy variable is going to be for Malay. I'll go to old and new values. So my value one, Okay, which is for Malays, yeah. the new value will also be 1. You click add and you go to over here, yeah. Uh, all other values, yeah. So all other values here, it will be 0. You add. So can you see? So 1 will be for Malay and the rest will be 0. You continue. Click on change and OK. We are going to repeat this process yeah, because we have three dummy variables. So you go into recode different variables, same thing. You pick up ethnicity. So we're going to rename this variable. So it will be ethd2. And this time it's going to be for Chinese. Yeah, This dummy variable is for Chinese. You go to old and new values. So now, remember, value for Chinese was 2. So we want to have the new value, which is 1. Add, same thing, all other values, it will equal to 0. Add, continue. Click on change. OK. So we're going to repeat yeah, the same process for our third dummy variable. So what you need to do, go to transform. You go to record into different variable choose eth and your output is going to be eth d3 and the label here it's going to be indian yeah so go to all and new values so for indian it was three old value and the new value is going to be one so we add and all other values the value will be zero Click on add and we continue. Click on change. OK. So if you go to your variable view here, can you see we have already created dummy 1, dummy 2, dummy 3. Yeah, and in this case here, our reference category is going to be others. Yeah, and if you go into your data view uh, towards the end here, can you see we have ETH D1, D2, and D3. Yeah, so we have actually uh, created our dummy variables and uh, we can change over here yeah, to all. There's no decimal points. Uh, if you go back to your variable view, again, your data view, you can see it's all 0 and 1. Yeah, so this is how we do it in order for us to create our dummy variables in SPSS.